On the jelly box, we're using two fans to cool the filament right as it's exiting the nozzle. It results in better quality prints. We're going to prepare these two by putting together the filament fan shroud, the filament fan mount, and the fans themselves. On the right side, we're also going to attach the proximity sensor. Let's start with the left fan. You're going to need the longer of the 30 millimeter fans, the smaller of the fan mounts, and a fan shroud that looks like this, and five plastide screws. Plastide screws are screws specifically made to be in plastic. Uh, they don't come loose with vibrations. When you put the fan on the shroud, make sure it's aligned properly. When you're looking at the shroud straight on, the wire should be exiting in the lower right corner. And that's the left fan. Now let's move on to the right fan. You're going to need a shorter of the 30 millimeter fans, the other fan shroud, the other fan mount, five plastide screws, and you're also going to need the proximity sensor, two M3 by 16 bolts, two M3 nylon lock nuts, and two regular M3 washers. We're gonna start by putting together the fan mount and the fan shroud in this case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's one screw that secures the two together at the bottom. And then once we put on the fan, now this time when you're looking straight at the shroud, the wire should be exiting at the upper right corner. One of the plastide screws going through the fan will actually go through both of the plastic pieces and secure them further. Last step, put on the proximity center. Right on the bottom, two and three sixteen bolts, two washers, one, two lock nuts, and tighten all in place.
And that's it. We have the left and the right fan. It's time to attach the left and the right filament coolant fan onto the X assembly. Left fan on the left side, right fan on the right side. You're going to need the X assembly, left fan, that's the one with the long wire, M3 by 12 bolt, regular M3 washer, and a regular M3 nut, not a lock nut. Start by putting the fan wires into the slot on the bottom of the X carriage. Then put the regular washer onto the bolt and thread it through the slot in the fan. Now on the left side of the X carriage there's a little tilted slot on the side. The M3 regular nut slips right in and that's we're going to attach the fan. <laughs> if you have a friend to hold this piece for you, it may be an easier task, but you can do it. All right. Now it's time for the right fan. You're going to need the right fan M3 by 16 bolt that's longer than on the left side, regular M3 washer and a regular M3 nut. The right fan attaches to the right side of the X carriage in exactly the same way as the left fan attached to the left side. The only difference is that we're using a longer bolt. <laughs> Ta-da! We are ready to start putting the actual wiring onto the X assembly, but before that we have one more prerequisite, the wire mounts or wire spacers. There's two and they go onto the X assembly acrylics and onto the X carriage itself. You're going to need two wire spacers slash posts. One is short, one is long, one M3 by 60 bolt, one M3 by 45 bolt, four M3 regular washers and two M3 nylon lock nuts. We're going to attach these two to the X assembly. Both of them attach in the same way, it's just that the longer one uses a longer bolt. Let's start with the longer spacer on the left side. One regular washer onto the M360 bolt, then the acrylic, then the spacer, second washer, and secure it all with a lock nut. Now, the shorter spacer, exactly in the same way, attaches directly to the X carriage. So, one regular washer, then the bolt, M345, then the short spacer, another washer, and secure it all with the nylock lock nut. Ready to move on to the wires. Now the intro to that. 